Hello my dear friends I hope you all are doing good I am Prashant Mavani I warmly welcome all of you to study IQ the topic that I have for you guys today is this particular situation this water crisis situation through which Jammu and Kashmir the state of Jammu and Kashmir is going through now imagine we are talking about a state that is bound by this Himalayan mountains it has this Himalayan rivers as well perennial rivers rivers carrying water 24 by 7 365 days and if a state like jammu and kashmir is facing water crisis then you can imagine the state of other states in our country now the main culprit here is climate change and climate change is one of the most important topic for your examination you can expect at least one question pertaining to climate change in your mains examination this is one of the biggest threat that this planet is facing at present the other thing is I would like you guys to read between the lines here. When I say read between the lines, uh, you can imagine if a state like Jammu and Kashmir is facing water crisis, then imagine the state of other states in our country. The other thing is uh, remember before the start of this summer season, IMD that is Indian Meteorological Department came out with this prediction that the summer this year, summer of 2018 is going to be extra hot than normal and states like jammu and kashmir are going to face an addition of 3 degree celsius above its normal temperature and every 1 degree addition above your normal temperature is more severe it exacerbates this whole situation the other things that can take place because of this extra hot summer is uh, this uh, water bodies will become dry a bit quickly this will create uh, drinking water a problem for millions of people of our country you can easily imagine the price of bottled water can go up at the same time millions of people will not have access to clean drinking water uh, it will impact our infrastructure projects as well as you can imagine that uh, in the afternoon time it will become nearly impossible for our laborers to work outdoor this will kick up the price of uh, infrastructure uh, it, a heat wave can uh, kill many people and we see we have seen this figures are going up and up every year uh, though because of this uh, best practices in in say for example this whole thing start, uh, was started back uh, in uh, i think 2013 or 14 in ahmedabad gujarat and uh, the successful model of ahmedabad of uh, fighting this heat wave has been implemented in different parts of our our country and it is working but we know that situation all these things are taking place because of climate change you can also imagine the food prices will go up because many crops like wheat and uh, other sensitive heat uh, temperature sensitive crops uh, may fail so this will this all these things here drinking water crisis your infrastructure issues your wheat production your milk production as well uh, will come down because your cattle uh, are going to face uh, this heat and uh, it will it will basically you can say this extra heat is going to distort their milk production system as well so milk prices may go up this all these things are going to uh, kick inflation uh, so again many people will face uh, this heat of inflation at the same time they would be suffering from this heat of extra hot summer and the last point that i would like to add here is that when our rivers when our water bodies will get dry Uh, our electricity production will come down our hydroelectric city production will come uh, come down so this will again create this uh, problem with our this equilibrium of demand and supply will get disturbed so you can imagine when i say that read between the lines here we are going to talk about the state of jammu and kashmir specifically and we are going to see how its this state's economy will get affected by this water crisis but at the same time remember this is a good example for you to tackle a question in your mains examination pertaining to climate change so now let's move on dear friends uh, this is my facebook page here and this is my twitter handle on which i can share a link for you guys if you want to download the pdf of today's discussion i have a good news for you good news is that up to 50% off is available on our pen drive and tablet courses but this is going to last till 18th of April only so make sure you make the most out of this 50% discount if you have any question or queries feel free to give us a call on the numbers that you can see on your screen now coming on to this jammu and kashmir state basically the government issued a circular a direction has been issued 
by the state of Jammu and Kashmir, by the government of Jammu and Kashmir, to the farmers of the state, that this summer, please don't go ahead with this paddy sowing or get rid of paddy this summer. Don't sow, don't plant paddy crop, don't plant rice uh, this summer because the main reason is that uh, if we see the winter of 2017, then the state of Jammu and Kashmir has received less than normal snowfall and less than normal rainfall. If you see the spring this year, then as well, the initial days of the spring has been very dry for the state of Jammu and Kashmir. And remember, always remember when I'm saying Jammu and Kashmir that we are talking about a state that is having this perennial rivers, rivers that are having water throughout the year because in winter you have the snowfall, in rainy season you have this rain and uh, during summertime you have this uh, snow melting, your ice is melting so your rivers are always full of water but then as well this particular state is facing this water crisis. The other thing is that the state has also said in its circular that if people will go ahead with this paddy plantation uh, then this may lead to drinking water crisis in the state. So this is a very serious warning that is coming out from the government of Jammu and Kashmir. It has also warned farmers that from last eight months uh, this state of Jammu and Kashmir is uh, or has faced a continuous dry spell. This is a very big issue for the state and it has also clearly stated that the irrigation department of Jammu and Kashmir won't be in a position to supply water for paddy fields. It has also suggested uh, these farmers to, to go ahead with those crops that require less water. Now the big question is can we do something about it because when we talk about uh, going uh, for uh, some other crop uh, basically what we are talking about here is agriculture and uh, even today our country or our economy is known as agriculture based economy. And if our farmers are going to face loss, then you can imagine this vicious cycle of poverty will get a pace. And this is something that we don't want in our country or in any part of our country. So I have the solution that I was talking about. We will talk about this thing. And I believe that uh, if the government of uh, Jammu and Kashmir and the farmers, if they pay attention to or if somehow if they come to know about the solution that we have today, then I believe that we can change or we can mitigate uh, this water crisis situation positively right so let's go through the range of uh, different uh, districts uh, that are uh, falling under this circular you have the six districts out of which you have this four bigger ones bigger ones in terms of uh, paddy production you have baramulla you have kupwara you have badgam and you have uh, pulwama these are the four major you can say paddy producing uh, districts of uh, Jammu and Kashmir at the same time dear friends uh, all those areas which receive water through these streams uh, they are also going to uh, they are also going to fall under this circular's direction now uh, one more thing that I would like to add here that it is mandatory for farmers right this circular is not just a warning it is a mandatory thing that farmers have to follow and if government wants or if government finds that you are sowing paddy then government can use force as well to diseased farmers or they can they can take over the operation of your farmland for a couple of uh, months or something because we don't want this situation where farmers or a couple of farmers are, are basically working as a tipping point a tipping point for this paddy production because it is directly associated with your drinking water so it is about life and death situation and in the past as well we have seen this sort of situation not only in Jammu and Kashmir but in different parts of our country as well that whenever this irrigation department is not able to provide water for irrigation we have seen that farmers coming out for protest and other things and then we see this law and order crisis uh, many people losing life uh, public property getting damaged and things like that so it is better that everyone follows and sticks with this circular now let's go through some facts and figures that will indicate or that will help us understand how serious this particular problem is now this famous river of Jammu and Kashmir, Jhelum, normally the water level should be at this year or this time of the year, it should be 1.5 meter or 5 feet, right? This is how it should be, but at present the status is 1.3 meter. The other thing is, uh, if you see last three years, uh, then as per Indian Meteorological Department, the state has faced deficit rainfall. 
2016, the first three months of 2016, it received 265 mm of rainfall for the first three months of 2016. If we see the figures of 2017, for the first three months, it received 494 millimeter of rainfall. But if you compare it with the first three months average rainfall, then it should be 627 millimeters. So you can see here uh, there is a huge gap. So it indicates this climate change is taking a huge toll on the state of Jammu and Kashmir. If you check the last two months of 2017, then we find that when we compare it with the last two months of uh, three years, like for, for 2014, uh, 15 and 16, if you check the last two months of uh, this years, then you find that 2017 was uh, 2017 received uh, lesser rainfall compared to this year. So, different period, different years, what we are seeing, one thing is common that waterfall or rainfall is coming down. The other thing is, uh, this is this year, 2017 or 2018, right? Uh, this 2018, we are in the first half of 2018 and the last half of 2017. If you, if you go through the figures, then you find that this is one of the prolonged, one of the most prolonged dry spell uh, for the state of Jammu and Kashmir. A similar situation was, was witnessed in 2000 as well. It was also witnessed in 1957 as well. And at that time as well, similar circulars were issued by the state of Jammu and Kashmir. We don't know what happened exactly in 1957, but I know what happened in 2000. When in 2000, when this circular was uh, issued by the state of Jammu and Kashmir that don't go ahead with your paddy crop because the government won't be able to provide or irrigation uh, department won't be able to provide you water for irrigating or for your field right uh, or for water for your paddy fields at that point of time this uh, farmers did not paid any heed uh, to this warning or this circular and uh, the result was that they faced huge amount of loss and after that we saw a bit of uh, this law and order crisis and things like that so uh, it's a request to all the farmers out there that they should seriously pay attention to this particular uh, circular that is issued by the state of Jammu and Kashmir now as you know the main culprit here is this global warming and that is taking place because of human activities right water scarcity is linked with climate change and global warming day temperature has been above normal from last many winters in Jammu and Kashmir, if you see at uh, 2017's uh, Feb uh, February and March, then day temperatures were higher than uh, than what it used to be in 2016. Uh, the most uh, serious or severe thing is that uh, the snowfall pattern as well has changed uh, in for the state of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, and the reason why a paddy is important uh, the reason why we are paying too much attention to the paddy is you know that uh, paddy is associated with agricultural economy at the same time it is a staple food rice is a staple food for the state of jammu and kashmir the other thing is uh, the quality of rice that is produced in jammu and kashmir is one of the best in the world right let me repeat this thing again it is one of the best uh, rice quality or rice type uh, different types of rice that you find in uh, in the state of Jammu and Kashmir are one of the best in the world and one of the main reason is that they don't use so far they have not used groundwater what they use is this surface water but surface waters are going down if you see the cultivation area uh, and if we if we go through last uh, 16 years uh, roughly 16 years from 20 2002 2002 the area was 1 lakh 70 uh, 1 lakh 70 thousand uh, hectares uh, but now what we see is 1.41 lakh hectares 2012 it was 1.58 so uh, the area under this paddy production is coming down as well at the same time because of climate change your productivity is coming down so naturally it is going to it is going to kick this inflation right because uh, it's very difficult for the people to change their staple food isn't it so this is a severe situation here and uh, if you if you compare the figures here right then we can say that in last 16 years uh, there has been a drop down of what somewhere around 29,000 hectares of land at present this uh, paddy industry or rice industry is 
uh, is uh, 400 <coughs> beg your pardon industry worth is 400 to 500 crore rupees and per year the state of jammu and kashmir produces some 88 lakh quintals of paddy or rice per year you have some uh, qualities here some famous brand of jammu and kashmir rice you have k332 you have jalam you have shalima 1 shalima 2 shalima 3 shalima rice 1 2 3 then you have musk badji uh, kamad and then you have this zag that is air red rice so these are the famous name of uh, or famous uh, types of rice that we find in the state of jammu and kashmir remember they are one of the best in the world now the farmers are being advised by the state government that you should go ahead with crops like maize cereal and other short duration crops and uh, rather than one crop per year they can think about and they can go ahead with two crops per year here we reach to our solution of course uh, this is a good thing but is there something that we can do with our paddy or rice yes there is one thing this is the system called system of rice intensification recently the president of our country visited this country called madagascar which is an island in indian ocean and in madagascar we talked about i'm not sure whether you have followed this news uh, this uh, you can say uh, if you have paid attention to details uh, to this particular visit of our president to madagascar we talked about this system of rice intensification at that point of time if you are following my press information bureau analysis uh, which i provide on regular basis on study iq channel then you might be aware about this thing because i have talked uh, on this thing uh, i have highlighted this uh, system of rice intensification this is a technique that was uh, developed or invented by this person that you can see on your screen his name is father henry he is from madagascar and he is the main man who invented this rice uh, or system of rice intensification now how it can work here in our country it can work because this sri is not a fixed package of technical specification basically you focus on this four important things and our main focus here is this water or irrigation management you have to look after your soil fertility we are doing that with the help of our soil health card a plantation method you can quickly learn it's more it's not using any sort of uh, excessive uh, machines and other things uh, manual labor is something that is that is still working in in the, in this country of madagascar and madagascar let me tell you this the one uh, important detail about madagascar when we talk about rice madagascar ranks number two in terms of consumption of rice right uh, on an average one person will consume more than 120 kilo of rice per year so the consumption of rice rice is one of the most important food item in madagascar people consume rice and rice made or products made from rice uh, three times a day and so it's a it's a it's a country that is uh, heavily dependent on rice production and uh, i have a question for you as well uh, in the hindi version of this uh, particular lecture i asked this question i will throw this question for you guys as well so the question is give me the country give me the name of the country uh, that is number one in terms of rice consum consumption right uh, this is the answer that i'm looking for i'll give you uh, like say a couple of hours or maybe one day or something and then i will post this answer in the comment section as well as on my facebook page and twitter handle uh, but make sure you do your research and come out with this answer be a sport and do give it a try even if your answer is wrong that's fine but make sure you take part in this quiz session now coming back to this sri method as i was talking to you about that this state this country is again not using too much of uh, this uh, mechanical method of planting so something that we can easily adopt over here weed control yes we can do that thing as well but the most important thing that is uh, applicable for our country is this water or irrigation management now the beauty of this sri method is that you don't basically submerge your rice plants what we do here in our country is we submerge our paddy plants uh, I'm, I'm sure you might have observed this rice field or paddy field they are submerged isn't it you have this water everywhere 
this is not a good technique we have used it for a very long period of time but this as per this sri technique all you have to do is just make sure that your that your soil is moist enough just look after the moisture of your soil keep your soil moist enough and what you will find is that the roots of your rice plant will become a bit deeper they will become a bit longer and uh, you will require less water reasonably less water or you can say there will be a drastic fall in, in the use of water in this way the, the farmers of jammu and kashmir and other parts of our country other farmers as well they can go ahead with this rice or paddy production because india as well the main staple food of our country of course in different parts of our country people are uh, dependent on wheat as well but predominantly the the majority of population is rice consuming population in our country so it is very important not just for jnk but for other parts of our country as well so for this sri method can work wonders for us right we have to make sure just one thing that our plants or our paddy plants or our paddy fields are just moist enough and not submerged so we would be using less water and it has been proved as well that uh, this method under this sri method the yields can go up too so this imbalance of demand and supply can be maintained as well and i believe if this particular thing is added in the circular of jnk uh, then the farmers as well as the economy of uh, the state of jammu and kashmir can survive i hope uh, this discussion uh, was good enough for you guys to tackle this or to understand this particular issue that uh, will be faced or is being faced by the state of jammu and kashmir with this dear friends i would like to remind you again about our 50 percent discount that is available if you have learned something out of today's discussion then please don't forget to give us your like to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much for listening jai hind